everyone. I'm Samantha Wang, and I'm a product manager here at Influx Data. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to integrate the Thing Stack with InfluxDB Cloud in minutes. A little bit about Influx Data and InfluxDB. What we do here, we enable organizations to make cost disruptive decisions on a high volume of time sensitive data. InfluxDB, InfluxDB is the leading time series database, and we collect and store. Uh, time, time series data. And what is time series data? It is time stamped, time stamped data generated in regular and irregular time periods. Um, contains it can hold huge, huge volumes of data. I don't know if that's even the best, the best adjective for it, but kind of inc incredible large volumes of data. And all that data can be can be viewed and analyzed in real time and extremely time sensitive. So if you're looking for a database, a platform to to store this type of data, InfluxDB Cloud is the perfect um, solution for you. So just a little more about InfluxDB Cloud and its characteristics. Uh, things, really important things to know about it. It, it contains a free forever tier. It is extremely easy to use. No credit card required, nothing to install. You can just play around with the platform to see if it's something that works great for you. Okay, so now I'm gonna hop into our demo. Apologies, I'm using my second screen. I have my camera kind of Kind of used to this, you might be see, seeing me look over to the right, but let's get started with our demo. So, so in this demo, I'm gonna show you how to ingest your MQTT metrics from um, the ThinkStack into InfluxDB B Cloud and monitor, monitor everything from there. So on my left-hand side, this is what it's gonna look like when you drop into your InfluxDB Cloud homepage, and I'm gonna click into load data. Um, here, I'm gonna, we're gonna ingest MQTT, so I'm, we're gonna be using the MQTT consumer plugin um, Telegraph plugin that I can that I can view the configuration in in InfluxDB Cloud and information that's needed to configure. So let's copy the UI into the clipboard into our clipboard. Um, I already have Telegraph downloaded downloaded and um, and kind of have a blank configuration set up. So let's hop into there. The ThinkStack conference demo. I'm just gonna that's the name of my Telegraph. We're gonna drop that that um, that 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 template configuration into here and grab some um, information that we need to configure. So first we're gonna configure our server. So I'm gonna go into my ThinkStack console, grab this public address um, and paste it into here. Um, next, let's just subscribe to all the topics kind of for, for simplicity. Um, and, and next we're going to have to configure some, uh, our username and password that is also in here as well. So. Uh, let's scroll down and, and uncomment out this, this information that we'll, we'll need. So username, um, I'll have my username in here. So just copy that, kind of a lot of copy and paste great features in Influx in, in the Things Console stack. And I'm going to grab an API key as well. And we're going to paste that into the password portion. Um, and next, so all my, all my data in the thing stack is JSON data. So if we look at our application data here, I actually already have it pulled up, but let's just hop in to see what the data is look like. This is all data in format JSON. And we're actually going to be um, pulling this data over here. And so as you can see here in the, MQ, in the MQTT plugin, um, the, last, the last little bit of portion is you can configure a data format. So if your data is in XML, um, influx DB line protocol, uh, in this case, are MQTTs in JSON. So I'm going to set that to JSON. And um, I, I, I included some information about the JSON parser over here. Um, this is just from our GitHub readme that you can easily find um, on our documentation site or, or around our website. Um, this will kind of give you a good walkthrough on how you need to configure um, the JSON parser um, dependent on what your JSON data looks like. Um, Kind of most importantly here is kind of this JSON query queue. And because we're only parsing this uplink data portion, um, I'm going to um, configure, I have a little kind of command cheat sheet over here, um, this JSON query uplink message. So we're only going to be querying uh, the data in this portion. Let's format that a little better. And um, an important aspect in our, our JSON parser, there's a lot that you can see here, but um, we need to configure our, our stream fields so those get re read incorrectly. And so I know that my my stream field is FM payload. So I'm going to configure my string field um, to that. Um, so once that once that is done, you're done configuring the input plugin portion of your 
uh, Telegraph. So kind of pretty quick if you, can, if you have all the information that you need. So I'm gonna save that for now. And so we have the import coming in and we're gonna output into our InfluxDB cloud. So I'm actually just gonna grab the Influx DB the Influx DB output plugin um, and copy and paste it, just kind of really simple copy. Um, and I'll pop it back into the bottom of our, our I could have put it in the beginning or the end, but just gonna put that in here. So I have the URL that's gonna be sending it to, the token, um, my organization is, is just my email address and my bucket, this is kind of important where you wanna be sending your data. All your data will be, will be sent into a different bucket. You can dual write into multiple buckets if you want, but my bucket in this case will be called a swing uh, plus demo bucket. So let's save those changes and we can go into our setup instructions and, and see what to do next. So I for step one, I've already downloaded Telegraph. If you haven't do it, go to our downloads page. Um, quick and easy, doesn't take up too much memory on your, on your device, but install the latest Telegraph. Um, we're gonna export the new token. Um, so I'm gonna take that, copy it to clipboard. I already have my terminal um, up, so uh, let's paste that into our terminal. Um, and then let's get Telegraph running and let's get our, let's get our plugin running. So once you, you paste the Telegraph command, you can see it's connected and starting to listen. So let's see if any data has, has come into our into our bucket quite yet. Looks like nothing so far. We can go back in here and see if there's any new data coming in. Let's do a, a refresh and here we go. Here we have our MQTT data in here. And so here you can see the metrics that we've imported, RSSI, SINAR. Uh, let's look at maybe both of those selected and just see it pop up. And there we go. Here are some metrics up from our, our think stack, quick and easy of, of getting this data in. Um, let's actually hop into other aspects of the of, of InfluxDB cloud. I'm gonna make this full screen just for our demoing purposes. And I mentioned some of the new kind of collaboration tools that we've we've added into InfluxDB cloud. Um, the note, notebooks is something uh, great and new that, that we've added. I was actually playing around with this earlier, but let's just hop into a brand new notebook. Um, and and it's it's kind of a really great collaboration tool uh, where you can view your data, you can kind of analyze your data with Flux, um, kind of, uh, so we can see in our MQTT uh, measurement, we can select, maybe let's look at battery um, and, and, and preview that data. So here you can see kind of the table view of what that data, that data looks like. Um, if you want to visualize the result, it's also here, here as well. There's a lot of other options of cells that you can add. So as I mentioned, kind of down, potentially want to down, to down sample the data right now because my data is coming in at the default of 10 seconds. I potentially want to aggregate that a little more. Um, I can down sample that data um, or can visual the data. I can add notes with markdown. I can add output, kind of output that data to a different bucket. You can, the notebooks provides a, a variety of tools for, for you and your team. Um, to, to, to analyze and just, and, and do kind of everything you're, you're looking to do for on your, on your, on your MQTT data in general or, or think stuff specifically. So um, definitely check it out. Um, I actually, last, lastly, you can also um, create dashboards if you're kind of just wanting to set something up, keeping on, we have a lot of our customers have their, have their InfluxDB cloud and kind of their knocks, their, their command centers, um, Here's a, here's a dashboard I actually already have, and you can see it's pulling in our data um, already kind of based off, based off of our thing stack. And um, I'm currently working on with, with, with one of our great um, uh, kind of our te Mr. Template on, on a template for this. So with InfluxDB templates, this is, a, this is another great tool uh, of you, uh, to help you get started with, with InfluxDB Cloud. Um, it provides a, a great method for you to just quickly um, drop in your data. I can actually even show you where um, once you once you have InfluxDB template, the InfluxDB template you want, um, you can find a template here to install it. So you can double click into there and you can see all the templates that we have. We have air quality, uh, COVID in South America. This was built by, by Ignacio, uh, earthquake data, um, um, and one soon will be coming for ThinkStack. 
you'll grab the link and drop it in here and be able to pull that in, in FluxDB Cloud and get started really quickly. Um, get all your data in and um, kind of this dashboard that um, I'll have created as well. So, so if any of this piqued your interest, definitely get started by um, getting your ThinkStack set up, signing up for InfluxDB Cloud. Influx Cloud. Once again, I mentioned um, it's completely free to start across all the major cloud platforms um, and start start loading your data and get, get and, and getting things test, tested out. Um, if you have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out on our Slack channel. That's a great place to not only talk to people like me at Influx Data, but also our, our huge community as well. Um, reach out to our community site, um, shoot, shoot us email, just plenty of ways to tweet at us. Um, there's a lot of communication uh, out there if you if you want to get involved more with InfluxDB, um, InfluxDB Cloud or share what you're doing. We love to hear that as well. Uh, but hope you have a great, great rest of your uh, time at the Things Conference and look forward to hopefully seeing what, what you guys are all are able to build uh, with, with InfluxDB.